guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So, as you can clearly tell, you bell exceeds has this has stayed. I, I don't know. I thought you guys are gonna, you know, take the time to actually think about it, to actually contemplate. Nah, you guys are like exceed, 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 exceed. I think there are like 11 or 12 people, and I know like 8, 8 of them, 8 to 9 of them are just you bell exceeds. So, definitely, you guys, you want you bell exceeds to stay. So, uh, it's here. It is here. You know, it is here. You bell exceeds is here. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoy UBLXC's presence here. You know, UBLXC loves you and appreciates that you decided to keep it here. So, in honor of UBLXC staying, I actually changed the deck around a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. So, um, um, I'll try to go into detail about what I changed specifically. But, um, yeah, it changed. So, I'm going to summon Armageddon Knight and I'm going to play Foolish. I'm pretty much going to send everything. So, for one thing, uh, we are playing uh, Starlight Star Bright again, because I was saying, I was noticing that last time we played, we were getting a lot of the revival, but we weren't getting a, level, a lot of the mev me level modulations. So, we're going to go ahead and run Starlight Star Bright to go ahead and um, try that out. So, um, of course, we need monsters who have the same attack or defense, so, you know, same attack and defense. We have, uh, you know, Shadal Dragon. I switched, um... The Flint of a Chaos for Stall Dragon. Let's go ahead and try him. You know, I also took out the Breeze Dragon, so we'll say that. That's the reason. That's one of the reasons I decided that. We got um, Level Eater, who also has zero defense. Um, we have uh, the Return of Still Storm Longhorn, who also has zero defense. So you know, we can always you know copy him and have him be the one that we're gonna make all to level nine. And then I'm gonna try to go ahead and try Puppet Master. I forgot what the reason why I put him in here. I think the reason why I put him in here is for Leo, but. I doubt I would ever do that play, so, you know, that one was kind of off, but anyway, uh, that's the changes to this deck, so, uh, you know, hopefully that'll be fine, we're gonna go ahead and go, also I wanted to take the synchros out, because I, I kind of felt like the synchros being in here kind of contradicted the whole point of Ubloxes, so, actually I'm kind of glad I searched, because if I were to do Terra, I would have been kind of ticked off, so we just need some revival, you know? Well, no, we have Revival. We need some Modulation. But, you know, if we can sit on Terror for a little while, depending on what my opponent is playing and what's going to go down, it's just going to set a monster. And he's going to play Supply Squad. All right, well, then I'm guessing that we're going against Yang Zing. Uh, what the fuck? I cert. I, I cert. I look at my deck. Terror's on top. I cert. I shuffle my deck, draw Terror anyway. Like, all right. All right. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like... How do you shuffle your deck and still get the same thing on top out of 31? 31 and still get the same thing. Like, all right. All right. I see you. Normal summon? Back. So like I said, I'm still going to try to get this deck right. Sure. Yang Zing? Is it Yang Zing? No, it's Gustos, which are just as bad. Oh, this should be fun. Alright. Alright, go ahead. I really wanted that effect of Mass Chameleon, but my opponent was like, no thank you, you're not going to get that. So I guess I'll go ahead and just take the 100. I ever told you that I don't like Supply Squad because it pretty much rewards bad play. Message in a bottle. Oh, I could do that. I, I do have different levels, but the problem is I don't have, you know, any any level modulators. Once again, level modulators. So we, if we got them, we'd be great. Actually, if we had it, we could actually go into Dora because we could summon these two. Then well, summon these two along with others. Then level modulate all to uh, the you and you to both ten. So wouldn't be terrible. Effect this time. Solemn warning. All right. I said, like, that's not going to get annoying. Go ahead. He is... Hello. He is literally going to stop every single one of my plays. Another fucking supply squad. Alright. Activate Rota. Go ahead and get Armageddonite. 
So, we'll go ahead and normal summon Armageddonite effect. I'm gonna send Dragon. I'm probably gonna take Puppet out. I feel like effect. What do I care about? This back row has been scarier than anything. And I hate Supply Squad so much. So much. I hate that card. Uh, we'll blow you up, I guess. <sighs> MST. All right. Well, I could use Message in the Bottle right now, actually. Which wouldn't be terrible. I could use Message in the Bottle. Summon you, summon you, and summon you. Then I can overlay you and you so I don't take 4,000 points of damage. XC into... I can XC into Lola Chain, Exiton, Exiton, I think I'd be up. Because I'd have you Bell, Level Eater, Exiton. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I'd definitely be up. So, it may not be the best plays either. Hmm. So Exiton would be definitely off the table. We can go for Castell and spin back one of the fucking uh, thing. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. I'm gonna activate message in the bottle. All right. So messaging in the bottle is pretty good. Lots of revival in this deck. Like I said, we got triple call, triple oasis, triple limit revenge, triple messaging in the bottle. We got, we got the triples. We got the revival. So, opponent is reading message in the bottle. So if I don't exceed someone, I'm gonna take four thousand points of damage. You now, good thing he already used solemn warning, huh? It's, if I would have exceeded and he was Solemn Warning, I would have officially not exceeded that turn, so I would have taken 4,000 and lost my monster. So I would have paid 4,000 for it, only his 2,000, so. Definitely, definitely scary. There you go. Level, Eater, and, uh, Shadal Dragon. Summon you, summon you, summon you. I wish I had level modulator. I really just had to do it. I wish I had him. On summon. Book of Moon. All right. Wow. So I'm going to take 4,000 points of damage. That's fun. So because the number generator just had to give him warning and Book of Moon. Like, that sucks. Well, there goes 4,000 of my life points. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and, and I'll take that 4,000. That hurts, but... Yep. Yep. Number generator. You warning me? Yeah, that hurts. Like I said, I do not like these. I don't like Supply Squad. I don't like going against Supply Squad, and I don't like using Supply Squad. So, yeah. Mm. Yep. Think for five. Yep, that asshole. Yeah, that's fine. So I don't like Gustos. I never liked Gustos. They're annoying. <laughs> They're not good. They're just annoying. Yep, that's game. Yep, you got it, because you can just keep on summoning Gustos from your deck and keep ramming into me. That guy's annoying. 
That guy's cheap. Like, you're literally just taking your monsters and ramming it into me. Like, that's dirty. Like, you're not even dueling me. You're literally just taking your monster and just going ram, 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 ram. Like, oh my god. Two stars are annoying. Like I said, they're not good. They're not good. They're just annoying. Sure, I'll go ahead and duel you. Seriously? I said, I don't like Gustos. I definitely, I will never, ever, ever like that deck. Ever. Because there's nothing to it. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to summon him. Fact. I'll go ahead and just tribute you. Go ahead and get me a Galaxy Queen's Light. Where are you, Galaxy Queen's Light? There you are. So, I have Oasis, so I can Oasis him back. And, uh, if he survives, of course, or if this card survives, I can waste some back, make him level 8, summon level eater, Galaxy Queen's like, they both become 8, and then I can go into a fell worm. It's not a terrible play, but it's opening hand wasn't the best. As I said, we're running, we're running all the senders, we're running triple Armageddon, I triple Dark Grafford, triple, you know, Rota, so... Opening up with uh, none of them kind of sucks. I mean, I guess technically we could play Mathematician. Technically we could play Mathematician, but I don't think we have room really. Wow, alright. Draw you Bell, alright, thank you. That's fantastic, baby. I love John you Bell. Back to become oh, become level eight. I'm um, almost in level eater. Uh, as I said, target one face up monster you control. All face up monsters you control with an attack or defense equal to that monster become the same I was until the end phase. Alright, that's a starlight star bright. Both eight because attack or defense. His attack is the same as his defense. Go ahead and just go into Felgren. Where are you, Felgren? There you are. Like I said, if my Felgren gets fucked up. Ah, uh, do I want to do that, though? I don't want to do that. If I kill him, then he's going to get his. He can banish this and search with that. And, you know what? My hand is not good enough to be facing off against that right now. Especially drawing you bell. I said if I get if I get Dark Greffer or Rota for Dark Greffer No. Or Rota for Dark Greffer, we might actually do something. Trying to figure the situation out. So drawing you bell is not the best play not the best, so it's kinda of hindering my decision right now. I so said we might edit the deck just because it seems like the only people I really need to send are Yubel and a level one, which will be level eater. Everybody else, you know, not really. So we might actually go ahead and change the deck again. Another Galaxy Wizard. That's nice and all. I can go for a Draco Sack. Yeah, I can go for a Draco Sack. I can go summon Galaxy Wizard to make it eight. Was there effect? I mean, was effect make it a level either either level off activate Galaxy Queen's Light both of them seven XC Draco Sack? I could do that. It's not a terrible play. Eh, fuck it. I'm gonna summon. Okay. Back to make level eight. Level either effect. Oh wait. Oh wait. Wait, wait, my bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot I never freaking detached for level eater. Oops, uh, well, I just have this go ahead and go for a effect on itself. Okay. Okay, 
now level eater. I'm about to say level eater effect with no level eater grave. Like smart, smart Daniel. Uh, so now he's seven. I have to make Alex and Queen's Light. Both seven. The new box these can exceed. It's just trying to figure out how, what I want to do with the deck, really. Like I said, it might cut down some of the monsters. But, I will detach her cost. Sack effect. SMST, alright, that would have done nothing. Once again, I can kill this guy, but what's the point? There is no point, really. He needs him in the graveyard to start off his play, so I'm just gonna take the duel slow. Take the duel slow, get set up, and, you know. Without this guy, Court, in the graveyard, he really can't do much. You know, he needs a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard to even play his Search Cyber Dragon card. That's what I'm saying. As soon as I kill Court, he can play his Search card, he can. Activate core effect in grave, so. Oh, he just said fuck it. He said fuck it. He's like, you know what? If you're not going to commit to the plays and I can't play, then fine. I'm just going to go ahead and play card card. Like, all right. That's one way to counter what I'm doing right now. Rota, all right, that works. So, I said, I'm going to take you out, I'm going to take you out, you can stay, I'm going to take, yeah, you two are out, because you're cute and all, but I can just do that with a level eater on you, Bell, so I'm going to take these two out, and, um, probably try to play some mathematicians, maybe, maybe some mathematicians, why not, Now. Why the F not? So who do I want to send? Oh. Dragon, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and pop that one. Reckless. Wow. Alright. Mm-hmm. So he is definitely relying on his place. Uh, there we go. I mean, oh, scrap. If I'm so used to typing scrap fact. Sack fact. Remove to destroy. Like effect. Detached for some two token. Oh, you're gonna DNA surgery and then, and then contact fuse with me. I get it. You're cute. You're cute. So Draco Sack can't attack. You know what? Fuck it. I'll play. I'll play your game. I don't want to play your game, but I'll play your damn game. I don't like playing his game. Especially with that blocking of that swift. I thought I was going to get some at least 28 in. So, of course, he can activate a search card. Search for a cyber dragon. You can banish him to summon a cyber dragon. Like, I definitely so see some chaos in my future. Hopefully, Felgrand can lock it down. Okay, he's going straight up core. So, you can banish. You can banish this card to have some one cyber dragon monster. There, you can use one core once back. So turn. All right. So he's gonna banish it to special summon a uh, a cyber dragon. No. <laughs> At least he can't take out my Draco Sack with an attack. Alright, special summon a Cyber Dragon. Mm hmm. So it's got a lot of resources. Still got a lot of cards in his hand, so he's sitting pretty good right now. I've got everybody to the graveyard that I want. That's not terrible. You know, 
we got the revival. You know, we we got the we got the Galaxy Queens as well. I mean, I mean, we got the message in the bottle, the limit versus the call, the haunted, the oasis. We got the revival. Um, sending, sending, we're okay. You know, I think maybe that's what we're missing. Department level modulators, that, or as much as we can get. We got triple uh, Galaxy Wizard, triple Galaxy Queens, and triple uh, Starlight, Star Bright. So that that's that's as much as we can really go. So with that, so that's fine. So I say like. Like I said, once we get the sending, we can. Once we get the sending good, then we can go ahead and you know do plays like that. All right, it's gonna summon Dre. Uh huh. Except machines, if this card is banished, you can target one. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow, that's gay. Totally forgot about that. Totally forgot that. I thought he was going to exceed. You know, he just contacted with my damn Draco sacks. So that's gay. Can't get the tokens because the monsters have to be sent to the graveyard to uh, do that, so tokens, they don't get sensor they just move from the field, so. So, how does Fortress work with effect negation? Does, does he just drop back down to zero? Hmm. Totally didn't see that coming. So he's going after a token. Because he knows that if he goes after Felgren or Dark Greffer, then I will go Felgren effect, detach, negate, and he'll run into my monster and die, so. Not the wisest of plays. Limit reverse, cool. I love Limit reverse. Alright. So what do I want to do right now? Well, I can't. You can't do a uh, message in a bottle. Definitely not. I think I'm just gonna sit till I reverse and end my turn. So he's got one more turn of not drawing. So that gives me one more turn to draw and do something. So fortress, of course. I said that Falgran. That's what I said. I just realized because I think that's actually how it works. Yep. You're the one that decided to play Reckless. You didn't have to play it, but maybe those two draws are worth it. Reckless is still a very powerful card, even at one, just because you'll be two turns ahead of your opponent. I mean, of course, the drawback is that, you know, it'd be a, technically a neg one because you're drawing two to not draw two in the future. You play the Reckless, so you technically neg one. But still, being two turns ahead of your opponent in the right hands is a very powerful card. You know, especially multiple. Like, I, in my opinion, Reckless should be limited to one. Like, this is one of those cards that should be at one. Oh. I'm hoping he kills my other token. Yep. This duel has gone on for a cool minute. Mm hmm. Sure, you can have my token. Alright, then, okay, okay. Then, open effect on attack uh, declaration. Alright, figure that out. I had to figure that out. I'm like, is it a condition? Like, will he not go or will he? So, Felgram, negate your effect. You go drop down to zero. So, you ran right into my Dark Graffle. Just like I thought you would. That's why I, that's why I was warning. I wanted to make sure. Definitely wanted to make sure. Another Limit Reverse. Awesome. I love multiple Limit Reverses. No, there's no shame in that game. No. I said I wish I would have kept some level modulators, but that's my fault. I can actually go for Super Chocolatey Fudge Cover. I can go 
Activate Limit Reverse, Summon Galaxy Wizard, Galaxy Wizard Trivia Selkie, Galaxy Queen's Light. Activate Message in a Bottle. No, I, you cannot special summon any other monster except I see something, so no, I can't do that. My bad. Ah. Uh, I'll just take the duel slow. I can't believe none of that back row is something. Like, what could that back row possibly be? Go ahead. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Wow, I'm giving me more life points. That's craziness. You you really love drawing, don't you? I'm just gonna take this little chill. Cyber Valley. Oh, all right. Mmm. Nah, it's okay. Wow, Puppet Master. All right. Alright, Griffin. Effect. Get the fuck out of here. Like I said, you're, you're out of the deck. You're out of the deck. I don't need you. I thought I needed more different... I mean, I thought I needed different levels, but I don't. I don't. So. We'll try some mathematicians. It's more sending. Never hurt anybody. I can activate message in a bottle, summon... You know, all three of them summon you, summon, summon you, and summon you, and then, and then XC the dragon with the dark greffer into uh, King of Fern Olympus, who will of course give me a mass chameleon. This is when it is it targeted period? Yeah, this card is targeted for an attack by opponents. Once you can banish one card. Banish this card, draw one card, then in the battle phase, you can target when you see them, you know, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Uh, message in the bottle. Okay. Targeting the new bell. Sure. Sure. Warning. Damn. Damn, man. Sure. That might have been game, so... I guess I can see where you're coming from, but damn. I could still probably end this duel. I could just go activate Galaxy Wizard. I mean, let me reverse summon Galaxy Wizard, XC with Dark River into Castell. I could do that. Activate let me reverse. Okay. I could just go into Cowboy, actually. You're not here, Cowboy? Wow. The one time Cowboy's not here. That makes me sad. Usually Cowboy is there. So I target a monster with a thousand attack or less. I'm gonna summon Galaxy Wizard. I'm going to... Overlay? Yeah. Into... You want special summon, so I guess I'll go into Castell. Okay. Try to end this duel. Alright. What was your other back row? Was. Oh my god, what was the other. Oh, DNA surgery. Alright, DNA surgery. What's this one? Okay. That was the reverse. Ah, the back row didn't absolutely fuck me. <laughs> Another dark grapher. Cyber attack over dragon. That would've been interesting. John Yu Bell. Mask Chameleon. Starlight Star Bright. All right. That's a good game. I didn't get absolutely wrecked by back row, and I actually got to go off with play. So. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was fun. Alright, gonna go ahead and cop out. So, like I said, we're gonna take those two out. They're not necessary. All we need to do is send a 
you know, you battle in level eater, and we run so many fours that that's a given that, you know, uh, message in a battle will be totally fine. So, yeah. So, we're just gonna go ahead and fix that. So, let's go ahead and try some mathematicians, I guess. I mean, what can mathematicians send? Mathematician can send level eater. Mathematician can send dragon. Mathematician cannot send you go and the rest of them. So, I guess when it comes to Dark Greffer or Armageddon, I guess I'll send it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Really can't think of anything else right now. The deck seems like it's been, it's gonna work okay, you know. We're at cap revival, you know. I guess we can, you know, maybe you go, maybe go soul charge, because I think I took soul charge out. So soul charge, put that back, and uh, we'll go ahead and try, um, uh, I guess, uh, nefarious archery and the nefariousness. We could try him. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll fix it. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Ubalxies. I hope that you guys enjoyed the fact that Ubalxies is staying here on uh, Vitamin Y. So, of course, this upcoming Saturday, Ubal Zachter's deck profile taking off and uh, the return of Zombie Voice you know? So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with um, Cosmic Ubal. All right, thanks for watching.